Today's Star Wars Day. Yep, Mary and I are going to go see Star Wars today. So that's kind of exciting. But before we do that, I got something cool that arrived yesterday. Pretty cool, pretty excited. I think this should be a little bit of all right. I've been really curious to see what this looks like and how it performs. And I got a little mini PC coming because I don't have a Windows computer. So I figured I should get a little Windows computer so I could test some stuff. So it's nothing, nothing overly powerful but at least it gives me some options for testing stuff for you guys in the future. But I wanted a little monitor to kind of go with it, something that was not stationary, something that I could take with me, so something portable. So I ended up with this, the Blitzwolf, because I like the Blitzwolf brand, I have to say. BW PCM2, 13.3 inch, full HD, 1080p, Type-C, portable computer monitor. We're gonna check that out right now. Okay guys, so here it is on my laptop. As you can see, not a lot of reviews, only one review, five star, which is awesome. Comes in around $170 US right now. Uh, we got this from Banggood, but here it is, right? So here's some pictures of it right there. Look how thin it looks. And I'm, I'm hoping that the actual monitor itself does that justice. So, yeah, it looks, look how tiny that looks. Come on now, that's fantastic if, it's, if that's true to life. Now, the other thing to be kind of aware of, if you're looking at this, this is the 13 inch. They do actually sell, just so you guys are aware, an 11 inch, I believe, as well as a 15 inch version of this. So depending on what your needs are and portability, maybe you want something a little bigger because it's gonna be primarily sitting at home, or maybe you want something even more portable, so you want something possibly a little smaller. So here's some options here, right? Duplicate your screen, cool split screen awesome play games with the large screen one of the things i'm going to do number one i'm going to try to hook this up to my laptop just to see how well it works and we'll see if that does what it's supposed to uh i brought out a roku so a little roku because maybe portability is a big thing and you're going to be traveling and you're like you know what I wouldn't be bad just to bring my own little television with me that i can play i don't think i'm not 100 percent sure I don't think this has its own power source. I think it still needs to be plugged in, but we'll we'll find that out. Okay, so let's 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 open this up, shall we? Here it is. Classic Blitzwolf, kind of that white and green box. That's it. And I don't think there's much else on here. Nope. That's all BW PCM2 portable monitor. 1920 by 1080, 13 inch screen, power input, DC, 5 volt, 3 amp. There you go. That's 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 what it is. All right, so it comes kind of in two little pieces. So number one piece is this, and this is the actual stand. This is where it fits, Mag it's magnetic. You can kind of feel that little, it just kind of goes pop, pop. So that's kind of the stand. I'm guessing this fits on the back somehow. I'll have to, have to take a gander. How do they have it sitting? It looks like they have it sitting, tablet sitting like this. Tablet is sitting, oh, maybe tablet sits like this. And then this slides out, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out when we get it attached. And we get this. Now this is the tap, oh, holy smokes, that is tiny. Not tiny this way, but tiny this way. Look at that, look how thin that is. You guys see that? Or do you not see it, because it's so thin? Now it is, you can see here, you can see there's a thicker part here, and that of course is where all the ports and the buttons are. So you have a USB port on this side, and then on this side, you have, it looks like, what do we have here? I'd say two, maybe micro USBs and an HDMI and a headphone jack. Yes, kind of see on that side. Hopefully you guys can see. I'll turn it this way. You guys can see up there too. Nice, through there, right there. Kind of nice. And on this side, you have right, right along there. So there's your full size. Oh, so it says here. Never mind. Look, look on the back. So you got headphone jack. You got. What does this one say? I can't really tell what that one says. Oh, this must be your power. Type C, it says. So it's Type C. My apologies. Type C. And HDMI. And on this side, USB. Now, this is your volume up, I'm guessing. Or go up through your menu. Possibly volume down. Down through your menu. And your power button. Oh, that's nice. I like that. We'll figure out how to put that stand on. Box is thicker, so there's got to be something underneath here. Maybe. There we go. Oh my gosh, tell me that doesn't look like an Apple remote. Totally looks like the old Apple remotes. 
Very cool. Now I don't have, it doesn't come with uh, one of the, what do they call it? CR2032 batteries. I'd have to go get one of those. Oh, it does come with a power, I thought this was a battery. I was all excited, no need. But it does come with your USB charger brick. That's good, because you gotta make sure that it's gonna get the right amount of power to power this up, so that's important. You do get a user manual which is excellent, kind of shows you how to plug certain things in. Now, it probably looks bigger than it actually is because you got like language one, you got language two, language three, so there's like Spanish, you know, Italian, you've got German, you've got French, and you've got English. And really, each of them, just so you can see, English, one page, two page, three page. That's it, not a lot of reading. Might as well delve in there and figure it out. You get a little, I don't know what this is. Oh, you have 18 months manufacturing warranty. Excellent. Uh, USB to USB-C. USB-A, USB-C. You get uh, USB-C to USB-C. Wow, that's great. They give you all the cables. You get HDMI. Fantastic. And last but not least, you get this, which is a... Oh, this is their bracket. There it goes. Okay, in it goes. And then this somehow clamps in like this. So there's there's kind of your stand once it's in there. How does it mount? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. So we're putting all this stuff down. I'm gonna keep the manual. I'm gonna keep the manual out. Number one, I'm gonna put this down here. Let's figure out how this, this attaches. So this must attach. So that's, me is that it? That's it, right there. So this attaches to it. I'm guessing like that. So when you want to use it, it's just, just magnetic. So first off, this can fold over. Oh, look at that. Come on now, that's handy. And then when you're ready, this slides backwards. This is just like a little stand. Right? You see that? You see that? You just kind of... Where does this go? I don't even know. I don't even know where this goes. Does it say anything? It just says bracket. Maybe this is a bracket that you can bring so you can have your phone and stuff. You know, you're like, oh, I don't, because, yeah, I bet you this isn't even for this. Now it could be, maybe if I sat this in here, right, so you folded that. Yeah, so you could just use the bracket without this case if you didn't want to, and it would hold it, but, if you had like a smartphone, if you're like, no, no, I have my smartphone that I want to use, or I have my iPad that I want to use, I could put that over here, because that's, that's fantastic, and then I could have this, right, this here, over here, I don't have a smartphone, here's my smartphone case, and I'd be like, there we go, two of them going on, maybe that's what that's for. All right, that's 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 fair. Let's pretend that, let's pretend that's what that is. You guys want to be able to see this when I power this up, so I'm gonna lay it down this way for you guys, so you can see that. I'm gonna plug this actually into the power outlet, and then we're gonna bring up good old Roku to see how that works. We're gonna hopefully Roku can plug into this. I'm guessing this one's power. Yep, that would be power. No signal. That's all right. Now my curiosity is if I took this and plugged it in to here. So I'm gonna go HDMI in, because sometimes the power will pass through, which is excellent. So HDMI in, Roku going in, boom! Oh, that's excellent. Oh, that screen is lovely. Let's just give that a little clean, hold on. Volume maybe, this one. Look how clear that is. Oh my gosh, that's clear, right? Volume, crank that volume up. Oh, that is super nice. This is also like, it's an HDR screen, so it's got high dynamic range, which is super good. So I got my remote. Okay, let's try, oh, let's try good old, good old YouTube. I can't believe how clear that is. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's grab one of mine. Let's put it this way, hold on. So you get an idea of the volume, ready? Oh, it's been so cold out the last few The speaker's okay, but a little tinny went up at fall. I'm gonna bring them down a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. Oh, it looks fantastic, though. It really does. You guys see that? Yeah. So that's, it's freaking cold outside. And most of us know that, well, depending on where you live, especially that's something- And for a monitor that's that thin? A couple times a year, for sure. 
That's excellent. Oh, I like that. And so the Roku is working just great. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pause that. So again, audio is okay. It's almost like like laptop speaker quality. We'll see. Like laptop speaker quality. That's what I'm gonna give it. You're not gonna necessarily buy this because you're like, oh, it's got super awesome stereo speakers. No, but it does have decent sound. I'll say decent. All right, let's unplug the Roku. Here's my real question now. We're gonna unplug this, and I wonder if my laptop through USB-C can power it and send the video signal through at the same time. So this is on a Mac, again, USB-C ports. And we're just gonna go straight into the power port here, USB-C. So it definitely can power it, but no signal. So let's try this. We'll just run the HDMI cable from my adapter. So I got USB-C. This way I'm not actually plugged into the wall with my computer. So I'm gaining actually full portability here because my laptop will be able to power this, which could be really good too. This cable is actually coming into my MacBook and then we're gonna use the MacBook through an adapter because it needs an adapter for HDMI to come out. So let's do this and hope into, ready? So many cables. Things are flickering. Voila. Oh, that's great. So now I got my computer. This right now, just so you guys hopefully can see that, this is in a mirror mode. So I'm gonna bring them both down here just so you guys can see. So here, here's my laptop, hopefully you guys can see that. And then here's this. And we now have, this is, this is just mirrored. So we have a mirror. If I wanted to, I could actually say extend the desktop, and now I have an extended desktop, so I can slide between the two. Two cables, but great functionality between the two. Oh, that's a big win, because maybe I wanna work with two things. I'm just unplugging everything right here. Now, first thing to be aware of, and I didn't realize that till I just looked back, um, is that for those of us that are doing audio recording or screen recording off of let's say our MacBook, as soon as we plug in an HDMI, the screen recording just turned off. Uh, luckily, I, I noticed it before I finished this video because it could be important. Not that you're gonna be doing screen recording while you're playing with one of these, but a little bit of additional information for you. Here's my final thoughts on this whole setup. Awesome. What an awesome little display. For those of you that just want a display to be portable, because you're like, you know what, I can bring my, like a Roku or a Chromecast or whatever it is with you, be nice and portable. You just gotta power this. I wonder, I do wonder if it could get enough power. One last test, one last test. One last test. Ready? Can it get enough power from a brick? I'm a little curious, ready? From a brick. I got a USB-C cable plugged in here. Look at that, running off a power brick. This changes everything. I thought this was awesome to start with, but now I could be running this off a power brick because I was like, oh, it doesn't have a place for batteries. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery brick and I have a 20,000 milliamp battery. This should have no problems charging this or, or powering this for a couple hours or a day probably because you need it. You're gaming, doing whatever you are. Come on now. Oh, that's fantastic. Super happy. All right, guys, complete win. Image quality out of this thing. Wow, super good. It's not 4K. This one's not 4K. I think you might be able to get a 4K one, but not 4K. Oh, I love that so much, but super nice. HDR for under $200 American. That's really cool. Comes with this really nice case. And the case reminds me very much of like a Microsoft Surface, right? Their tablet kind of case where it folds, you have the little kickstand that kind of comes out, which is awesome. It literally comes with all the cables that you need. So you got your HDMI, you got your USB-A to USB-C, and you get a USB-C to USB-C. So super cool. Speakers, they're, they're listenable, right? But you know what? You and I can plug headphones in if we so choose, got a headphone jack. But if not, hey, it works, it does its job. Connects to my MacBook, connected to my Roku, which means I'd have no problems connecting this to anything. And because it's a hardwire connection, no latency. So super fast coming across. Uh, yeah, complete win. And battery, 
Did I say battery? This thing connects off an external battery pack. Wow, that's awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave a link to this down below if you guys are interested. Again, I think it comes in three sizes, an 11, a 13, and a 15. Now, I don't know if you went to a 15, if, of course, a USB brick could power it, because, of course, we're now powering a bigger display. But the 13 does, which means the 11 should definitely, without question. And that's it. That's it for you guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, link down below if you're interested. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. That is a surprising win, my friend. Super happy with that. All right, guys. Later.